when you're talking about extreme stuff or um, things that are eye opening or crazy, like recently, um, Kevin Gates he performed on stage. Oh, how far will you go to make sure your <laughs> fan get taken care of? And that fan. <laughs> Did you see that where yeah. that fan came on yeah. and sat there and then he? I heard she was pregnant and too. And she was pregnant yeah, yeah. too. Um, would you? How far will how, OTB fans let right, go? On a performance on stage. Will you, will you take stage? a girl up there and? Uh, that's gays though. That's what he been. He been no, I'm bad. asking you. I ain't worried about that nigga. That, I'm that, that ain't what, that what, ain't what I do. You would never do nothing like that. That, that. Ain't what I do. <laughs> gays, gays like one of my favorite rappers. So. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm uh, just looking you up and just looking at how the people love you, man. Like the, the streets, man. They they kind of say you the new improved. Uh, I ain't gonna say improved. You the new generation J-Dog, man. Yeah. How, how does it feel when people compare you to that and just, you know? For sure. That's amazing, though. You know, J-Dog really right from around the corner from, yeah, from like for, five for, minutes away. Yeah. Yeah. We both like his home. He's just like, he like five minutes around the way. I'm across the tracks. But it really like a blessing though, cause I come out like Jada, like one of my biggest inspirations. So it's like, man, it's just a difference. Cause I, I just remember being when Jada was first as a kid, just just the feeling I was getting, or still to this day, I still get it no matter if I hear him today. Like, you no, know, every time I hear anything, it's just the, about how the people love them. Like I was watching Jada, like, they just love them for who he is, like, you know what I'm saying? Just being J Dot, like it was he was in people's soul. You know, some people with the rap game, you have fans probably just love you cause how much jewelry you got or mm -hmm. you got the type like they love them for who he was. So that was like the type of love I always wanted for it was like what well, ain't about me too. like love me for me, and like and I just it's like amazing when people say that cause I it's crazy. I hear that all the time though, but it's great for you know Yeah, what I'm yeah. I know but I'm in the right footsteps. When I had him on here, it's just uh, just like but about a week or so ago, like he just showed mad love to the show and always, you know, just basically I've been knowing him for a long time because he got East Texas ties down mm -hmm. there, his grandma down there sure. from where I'm from. So he used to come down there a lot. So it was like when we'd hear about hear his songs and hear him screaming, you know, Acres Home, yeah. and, uh, Houston, Texas, you know, sure. we always just roll with it. But just to, would you say that he inspired you somewhat, you know, coming up as a youngster? Yeah, yeah. A lot, you know what I'm saying? But the crazy part, like where Jada was from and where I'm from, we used to have like a war going on. Really? Like, yeah. So That's all like, right. So that was like y'all were rivals? Oh, most of y'all basically, like, <laughs> I don't know. But, but it's it, like, oh, that's, it's like super cool now, like, right. that's when we was kids. That's and, when you was younger, yeah, right, so right. so that was coming up under him, but even like the one I grew up with, like, it's all love, like super love, so you shut the hood, mm -hmm. like super love, the energy there, like, on a whole nother level, but it just, when Jada, I, I mean, when he first came out, we weren't just on him. Like, we was hearing it. They were making something, he was making something of another, but we weren't just, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I love the roots he was going on, but <laughs> I just remember him getting so crazy. Well, I don't care where you was, what, what's going on, what you went through, you had to feel it. Like, the stuff he was preaching and rapping about it, like, touching soul. So, like I say, it always inspired me, because I just knew, I just remember going to my first J-Dog show ever and just seeing how the crowd just was like, like, you know, some people come out there, turn up, right? They have fun. It was more like, you know, that church when Jada I was up there, it was like, you know, they saw my like females, everything. You got people singing. It's like from the heart. Yeah, yeah, that's what you he said. Storytelling. Yeah, so it's like, it was just like a difference. So it was like, okay, that's like, that's the type of reaction I wanted. When you're talking about extreme stuff or um, things that are eye opening or crazy, like recently, um, Kevin Gates, he performed on stage. Oh, how far will you go to make sure your fan gets <laughs> taken you care saw of? That fan. <laughs> Did you see that yeah. where that fan came on and sat there and then he. I heard she was pregnant and too. And she was pregnant yeah. too. Um, would you. How far will how, OTB fans let right, go? On a performance on stage. Will you, will you take stage. a girl up there and. Uh, that's gays though. That's what he been. He been no, I'm bad. asking you. I ain't worried about that nigga. That, I'm that, that ain't what, that what, ain't what I do. You would never do nothing like that. That, that. ain't what I do. <laughs> gays, gays like one of my favorite rappers. So I'm, you know, I'm with Gays, and that's what that's who he is. That's like, how you get down. Look at all his shows, and you know, Gays. He go all the way in. Out his he just out his top. He ain't by himself. Usher out here taking nigga wives too. <laughs> she is. I don't even <laughs> go to Usher. Usher. I'm not even definitely not going to Usher show. <laughs> but he said, I don't, I don't blame the artist. I, I always say the female is the one who consented to go up there and do yeah. that. You see what I mean? Whatever it is, whether it be Usher, Gates, whoever. For sure. She had. She got up and did it. 
So That's I what can't blame. Right. So yeah. I can never blame the artist for I heard it. you pregnant. No, I saw the video where it showed her pregnant? little bump. Yeah, show her bump. I'll be mad. She could be. Little guy my baby mama. Like, she wouldn't go there for Nigga, I'm back. Like but if that was your baby mama, mama would coat. you be mad? <laughs> If that was your baby mama, would you be mad? See, me with female. <laughs> look, that, I'm a, with me with female, I let them be who they is so you can know who they is. A lot of times, people don't just say males, niggas, they want their females to be who they want them to be. I like females to be who they is, so I need to know that's what you really want to do so I can. That's an hour. That's who you is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I'd be. Nah, okay, see if I probably feel something with it. I just know my private mm -hmm. if we together, but if that's what if I know that's type of baby mama I got, I know that's her. Yeah, that's her. Would you ever want to work with work, work with Kevin Gates? Yeah, that's I tell that's like one of my favorite. Yeah, his favorite. I got like a long story about with Gates. Like I to my from way back in the day before Kevin Gates, I'm still a little like get before Kevin Gates pop off like laying in the city rocking us like every day for like two, three months. Really? Straight. Yeah, for sure. Let's talk about dog ass, man. That, that was big. I know you, I, I was like, at first, I asked that nigga about that damn song. Yeah. Nigga that answered a million, I see every interview, he talking about dog, dog ass, ass with these niggas. Sure. Did it, but the remix was hard. Dog ass, hey, Lola dog ass, hey, I got money on me, I got bitch man. With, with, with Boosie and the original, I, I, love the, I love the vibe of the music. The energy was there. Everybody crunk. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The school was crunk yeah. for this nigga. This nigga been all up at the high schools and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's talk about it for a minute. Like, what was the inspiration? And I know you said it before. Let's get down to it, though. Like, what made you write that song? I ain't write the motherfucker. Well, what made you do it? Just the energy. I ain't gonna lie. I went to the store. Like, that's like... I ain't do nothing special. It just ended up being the biggest song I got so far. <laughs> so, but. I'm gonna ask him like I asked Gator Man and all the rest of them. Do you like singing it? Nah, I ain't. <laughs> These niggas don't like their favorite song. Because you say it so much. You sing it so much. Yeah. <laughs> and it's never been like, I never, that ain't what I ride around to. Like, I, no, not even from the jump. Like, when I, play, I just know, he, like, I just know how to make, I got a good ear for music. I know how to make good music. All, like, if you listen to see, I got all type of yeah. vibes. Like, I yeah. just. Like, I know what I'm doing. So, like, I just knew it was one of the ones. So, I yeah. came back. I just was saying, dog, hey. Hello, dog, hey. I came back to the lab, come from the store. He had a beat that I could put it on. I went and then just went off the head. Berserk. It was it. Dog. Yeah. What That's verse hard. in the, what verse in that song that everybody always love? Dog, dog, dog yes, yep. the, from the eh, 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 from the intro to the outro. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, whole yeah, thing. Well, for sure. Wow, that's crazy, man. Like, so I was, like, Boosie. Boosie jumped on that hoe. For sure. Trust these women with they dog ass. Who the hell you with? That nigga there, that nigga been rapping hard the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna rap hard on everything, everything he do, man. So, so how was it when you when you heard his touch to it, when you first heard his verse, how was it? Shout out Boosie. It really was crazy though, cause it's just how it happened. I knew he wasn't Boosie, like, he one of my favorite people, like, or favorite hustler, like. I learned different shit from different artists, you know what I'm saying? Boosie, like, the nigga can hustle like Boosie. No, I'm saying you can eat forever, make me eat forever. Boosie got one of the best hustles. Like he got this shit figured out. He gonna generate ends forever. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.